Hi, it's Dustin here, and I'm coming to you on the shortest day of the year, and um, <laughs> I'm really thankful it's actually the, uh, the shortest day of the year because the days up north are getting very, very short. It's, uh, the sun comes up at eight, and then it's dark by like four o'clock. The, the sun's going down behind me right now, and you can still see the reflection of the light in the mirror. It's crazy how the seasons really affect how we feel. Obviously people in Southern California and Florida and things like that, you don't really feel this as much as people in the Northern states and uh, Northern parts of the country. People in Canada feel this. But like, for example, over the weekend, I wasn't feeling that good. And at like five o'clock, 5.30, it's just like pitch blackout. And you just wanna stay cuddled up in your house and not even leave. And when you contrast that to the summer, when it's like seven, eight o'clock and the sun's still up in the sky, you just have all of this energy to go out and do things. And it's a really great metaphor as far as seasons. And with real estate and business, everything goes in seasons. You have your spring, summer, fall, winter. And each season is a different opportunity to work on different things. Um, I always like to look at nature for great examples. Um, with real estate and business, everybody's always trying to rush things. But when you look at the most successful things in nature and in life, everything goes in a season and things aren't really, they're not rushed. You need to obviously be proactive, but there's times where you're reaping the reward of the harvest. And there's times where you're basically planting the seeds. So. I imagine a lot of you guys right now are in that seed planting area, right? It might be winter outside, but you're in that um, area for planting seeds in your life. So what you really need to be doing is putting as many hooks and seeds in the field as possible, adding some water to them and moving on to the next, okay? And what I mean by that is for tax liens and deeds, it's like, okay, getting a list of all the sales that are coming up and then moving on to the next state. You know, say you live in Washington, you get all of the dates of the sales for Washington, and then you move on to the next state. And then you maybe come back and reap the reward of going to that auction. So there's always gonna be different areas of your life and different timings that are in different seasons, so to speak. Um, maybe you're recently married, so that could be a different phase. Maybe you recently had children. Maybe you're single, maybe you're recently divorced. So these are all different seasons. Um, with your business, especially, you're probably in um, a planting season where you really have to be out there and be working in the field. And um, one of the things that happens in nature, I always, I'm a big fan of looking at nature, right? Because it really figured things out. And there's many quotes that like the, um, you know, the strongest trees have the deepest roots. And what I see all too often with people in real estate and training is they just bounce from one thing to the next to the next, never really developing the roots to make real estate work in general, right? And there's this concept called conscious competence, okay? So when you start out with something, you're unconsciously incompetent. You're like, oh, I'm not sure if this stuff is gonna work. It's a scam, you know, they saw on the internet somebody didn't like this guy. <laughs> All these things on the internet and um, we're always looking for an easy way out. And here's the bottom line, okay? When it comes to tax liens and deeds, this stuff works. You gotta put in a little bit of elbow grease, but when you compare it to college and all the other avenues out there, significantly less time and less work. The problem is that we've been brainwashed with all of these pills, like, you know, get rich over the weekend type thing. Now, the interesting thing about tax liens and deeds is I have a lot of people who buy my book that um, <clears throat> they literally get a home run deal on their first auction. Some people will go to two auctions and they don't get anything and they give up. However, if you look at this stuff on a six to 12 to 24 month basis, there's no reason that if you take action with this stuff today, in the next six to 12 months, you can be doing this full time. That's what our materials are designed to teach you how to do, but you need to go from that unconscious incompetence to conscious competence. Now, what that takes is really just putting in the daily effort and getting versed in the variables of this business, knowing what happens if you go to a sale, 
and you don't get a property, knowing how to do uh, due diligence and all that sort of stuff that comes along with this. There's no quick fix to being able to solve a financial problem, but we've done the next best thing as far as these trainings and these videos and all of the free content that we've put out there um, to really help you out. Like I get emails every day from people saying, hey, I've gotten more value in your free training than other courses that I've paid for. Um, as you know, our main book sells for 27 bucks and I get people emailing me all the time saying, hey, there's more value in this $27 book than things that I've paid five, $600 for. So that's something I'm very proud of and will continue to do and continue to make videos for you like this with little uh, tidbits of information. And as you can tell, there's kind of a common theme around all this sort of stuff. And it's reinforcing the basics, okay? And I'm going to be doing a lot of that because it's these basics that allow you to plant the roots and keep you moving forward. So thanks a lot for watching and the action steps for this video today are to just write down for the next five days one thing you're going to do each day that's going to move you towards success with tax liens and deeds. This stuff is not rocket science, okay? It's very simple, but you need that motivation and you need the, the guidance to be able to remind you to do it every day until you can get to that point where you're consciously competent, okay? To that point where you don't even have to think about it. So, thanks a lot for watching today's video. Um, in the next video, I'm gonna talk about um, daily rituals and how that can really help your life. So, I'll see you in the next video.